In this section, we're going to discuss some methods you can use in dealing with tough customers. I'm Pam Unruh on behalf of Expert Village. An example of the way that a customer might cross the line in dealing with you and then just going from tough customer to abusive customer is if they launch a personal attack on you. Now, attacks can come in many different forms, and this is different than just your frustrated customer who has had an issue they're trying to get solved. This is somebody who takes this past professionalism and into something a little bit more personal. If a person, if a customer personally attacks you, that could come in the form of verbal abuse. Maybe they're saying something just personally rude about you, yourself. You don't have to take that. Uh, it can come in the form of profanity. And I've had customers slip into profanity before, and I've just reminded them, whether on the phone or if they're in front of me, sir or ma'am, I really want to help you, but if you're going to continue to use that kind of language, I'm not going to be able to. And nine out of ten times that I've done that, the customer has apologized and moved past that. Now, as far as the more verbally abusive personal attacks, attacks on your character, attacks on your appearance, uh, attacks on your ethnicity, none of those should be tolerated. And you don't have to ask the customer to stop that. You can just simply disengage your working with the customer at that time. This is obviously not somebody who is receptive to hearing what you can do to fix their issue. They now just want to make it a personal attack. The best way to stop it is to completely stop contact with the customer at this point.